As gun violence and mass shootings become more prevalent in today's news, there arises a concern that news media may not always accurately represent the statistics of these shootings. In this paper, we examine how racial and gender statistics are misrepresented in the news. We started by creating intuitive pie charts to visualize the data, helping us better see differences between new data, news data, and official data. Then we performed rigorous mathematical analysis by chi-squared and SRME to confirm the difference as statistically significant. Finally, we put our results all together in 3D histograms, further confirming our conclusions and making it easier to visualize. Posing as one of today's most trending topics in the news, gun violence in the United States has and still co continues to corrode the country's peace. In today's society, the threat of gun violence has become more imminent. Whether it be an increase in gun-related hate crimes, school shootings, or domestic violence, the prominence of mass shootings has led to increased media coverage as well as debates surrounding the Second Amendment. A significant problem arises from not just the shootings themselves, but the media reports as well. All media sources have their own vantage points in terms of what happened, and this has the potential to create bias towards certain races, stereotypically putting them at risk. All right, so initial goals. So our first goal in this ASDIP research project was to essentially find this possible bias in several different online news sources, as well as sources, as well as some sources talking about shootings of particular races more than others. We also wanted to determine possible factors that contributed to biases by comparing categories such as age, injuries, deaths, and race. We also wish to, we also wish to prove or disprove our hypothesis, which is major news outlets, there's a statistical difference between the percentage of crimes by different races displayed versus the actual number of crimes performed by those races. Uh, and our hypothesis was that there exists no difference between um, racial and gender statistics in official sources and news sources. So we wanted to prove or disprove our hypothesis. So uh, the data that we used was for Mother Jones. Uh, we use a Mother Jones database and a Somni's uh, US mass shootings database. The Mother Jones database gave us the official uh, data about uh, which uh, about like the official uh, uh, shootings and our Usami's US mass shootings database gave us data for uh, news sources and um, the data that they've been broadcasting basically. So how did we achieve our initial goals? We used two main methods. The first method that we'll be talking about is called the chi-squared test. The chi-squared test allows one to find if a research hypothesis should be rejected or accepted. The formula on the top right shows how we can use the test. This um, on the bottom is a reference table. In our test, we had five races. Ergo, we had a degree of freedom of four. The probability highlighted in green, 0.05, that's the standard of chi-squared probability that we should use, um, uh, is 9.488 with a degree of freedom of four. Um, note that the uh, for our hypothesis to get accepted, our critical value should be less than 9.488. And for our hypothesis to be rejected, it should be greater than 9.488. Uh, after inputting our data, we can, as, as shown on the screen, our final critical value is 20.4249, which is much higher than uh, 9.488. This means that we should reject our hypothesis. Uh, the other test that we did was the square root mean error test, or SRME. In simpler terms, it's the average of the difference between the official values and the news reported values. Um, there is no good or bad value for the SRME, but the closer the value to zero, the better the data set is to the official value uh, data set. As, but as you can see, the SRME gives us a value of 16.6655, which is way higher than um, zero. And that confirms that the news are being biased in what they broadcast. And um, this is our other group members. So um, one of the first things that we found was that there was a discrepancy in the ethnicity of the shooters presented by the media coverage versus what the actual demographic of shooters were in the official database. If you look, if you look at the slide, there are two pie charts that show a visual breakdown of the race uh, or ethnicity of the shooters. We can clearly see that the media gives the perception that there are less Caucasian shooters than what is officially reported and inflates 
and more attention in shootings committed by Latino, Asian, and other races. But this perception can be really harmful because they draw unfair negative stereotypes about certain people living in our country, which leads to decreasing quality of life. And we also analyze the media perception versus the actual shooting committed by male or female. Um, as shown in the graphs depicted on the slide, there is much more accuracy uh, in the me uh, media reported gender of the shooter. Even though there is a small difference in percentage of the uh, pie charts, after completing the chi-square test, we found that there is no significant statistical difference between the observed shooter's genders as displayed uh, and the uh, news uh, uh, reported shooters. So this basically uh, this slide basically gives us a breakdown of the race of the shooters as well as if they are male or female. Uh, is it, this is a combined visual, a visual, visualization of the information presented uh, on our last two slides. Once again, as you can see, there seems to be a larger difference in ethnicity distribution between official accounts and news reports, which we supported previously with chi-square tests and the SRME. On the other hand, the gender distribution seems to be relatively even between official accounts and the news report, which is a result that we found earlier as well. So. Uh, our future res uh, research uh, problems. Uh, so, Darshan, if you want to go on with that. Sure. Yeah. So, our future uh, research um, problems is to look at larger data sets. Uh, next time, we only focused on a few this time for uh, the summer. Also, look at data from, you know, throughout the world instead of only the United States. And we should also, uh, we're planning to, for future research, to devise a machine learning classification algorithm, such as a decision tree classifier for classifying the bias. And some of the problems that we had were, so of course, finding the data sets. So that's really what we need to improve next time uh, in terms of finding larger data sets and all that, and really being able to analyze a lot from those data sets. So, and again, that depends on how good the data sets are. So uh, in addition to what uh, Sadash was saying, basically we want to, um be able to analyze, uh, make a good hypothesis in the beginning and then be able to analyze that. So like problems that we faced were like in the beginning of our research, we had a different hypothesis and that led us to uh, spending a lot of time on something that was just based on luck. And so we wanted uh, this problem, like um, this problem, I, I'm, I'm fairly sure that every group must have faced it, basically trying to find a correlation between the data sets and like what, uh, is there any bias in this topic? So uh, if you guys have any questions, you can just uh, let us know now. That's the end of our presentation, basically.